In this video, I will explain the concept of parallel resonant frequency between a capacitor and an inductor. I will also explain what happens between the capacitor and inductor as a parallel resonant frequency is approached. Finally, I will show you a demonstration of parallel resonance with a circuit constructed of a capacitor, an inductor, and a light bulb. Let's get started. The resonant frequency for a capacitor and inductor is the point at which the reactance of both components is equal. The reactance of a capacitor decreases with frequency, ultimately approaching zero ohms as shown in this frequency response graph. Conversely, with an inductor, the reactance increases with frequency as shown in this graph. So as you increase frequency, its reactance approaches infinite ohms. The concept of parallel resonance can be illustrated by overlaying these two frequency response curves. The point of intersection is known as the resonant frequency. This is the point, again, at which the inductive and capacitive reactances are equal. Just like the inverse of resistance is conductivity, the inverse of reactance is susceptance. Susceptance is a measure of how easily it is for alternating current to pass through an inductor or a capacitor. So as this resonant frequency is approached, both susceptances of the capacitor and inductor become equal but opposite in phase and begin to cancel each other out. In total, this effectively presents itself in the parallel circuit as a very high impedance, approaching infinite ohms. This, for all practical purposes, is an open circuit at resonant frequency. By the way, this arrangement is also referred to as an LC tank circuit. Let's look at a live demonstration of parallel resonance. Here we have a bulb in series with a parallel arrangement consisting of a 0.47 microfarad capacitor and a 5.5 millihenry inductor. Of course, we have a signal generator here that is used as our voltage source. As I start with a DC voltage, or 0 Hz, you can see that the light bulb immediately lights. This is because the inductor at DC looks just like a wire and acts like a closed switch, allowing the full amount of current to flow through the circuit. As I turn the signal generator frequency up and approach the resonant frequency, calculated to be about 3 kHz, you can see that the light bulb begins to go dim and finally goes out. This is at the resonant frequency where the impedance between these two points approaches infinity and no current flows in the circuit. This is a spectral illustration of how the combined impedances of the parallel capacitor and inductor approaches infinite ohms at the resonant frequency. So there you have it, parallel resonance illustrated. To summarize, we discussed the concept of parallel resonance and what it is, we discussed how, at the resonant frequency, the susceptance of the capacitor and inductor are 180 degrees out of phase and cancel each other out. The effective impedance of the parallel capacitor-inductor arrangement approached infinite ohms. We also demonstrated this phenomena using a parallel capacitor-inductor in series with a light bulb. As the parallel resonant frequency was approached, the light bulb dimmed out until it finally turned off completely. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If you think someone else would benefit from it, please feel free to share it. For more videos on applied electrical theory, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if you'd like. Thanks for watching.